Hi there, this is Dillis Guyan from DillisGuyan.com, the place where business owners and salespeople who sell to other businesses can find the exact steps to attract, convert and retain more of their ideal clients quicker and easier than they ever would on their own. And today I'd like to talk to you about one of the biggest mistakes I see when both business owners and salespeople are marketing their product or service whether this is an email, telephone call, direct mail, or whatever form of media they are using to attract new clients. And the mistake is that the marketing is all about me. And what I mean by this is their message is often either focused on the features of the product or service, or it's all about me and my company. For example, we are solicitors who've been in business for 25 years. Well, who cares? You could have been very average solicitors for 25 years. Here's another one. We specialize in visioning, team building and strategy development. Now, who do you know which business owner wakes up in the middle of the night worrying about the business and thinking, oh, I know we need some visioning. I don't think so. Here's another, we are a financial services company who deliver a responsive service, supply you with commercially sound, proactive advice, build long-term relationships and provide value for money. So what? And these were all taken from actual websites or brochures, so scary. And I'm sure you're familiar with companies contacting you trying to sell their product or service. And I recently received an email from an accountant and he started the email telling me all about his company, how great they were, how long they'd been in business, and then launched into this huge list of all of the many services that he could provide, hoping, of, of course, that something would stick. And I tell you, the only thing that stuck was my finger on the delete button. And the problem with this sort of approach is that he may have had something that would have saved me money, but I didn't know that from the content of his email because it was all about him and his business. And I'm sure many of you must have experienced a similar thing. So remember, your customers don't really want to spend money on your product or service, but what they do want are the results that your product or service will bring. What they want is their problems solved. When I worked in financial services many years ago, my customers certainly didn't want to buy a life insurance policy or a pension policy that lay in their drawer. What they wanted was a financial safety net that would replace their income if it stopped for whatever reason, death, sickness, critical illness or retirement. They wanted a financial safety net that would allow them to pay their mortgage, pay their bills, still go on holiday, continue with the kids' private education. They wanted to be able to pay all of their financial commitments if their income stopped for whatever reason. And this they were prepared to pay for. So if your message is focused on you or your company and your product or service, then your potential clients won't read it, listen to it or buy it because it doesn't resonate with what's going on in their head. Your marketing messages must answer the questions that are bothering them so that they read it and say, yes, that's me. I need to know more. And if you don't do this, all of your time and money will have been wasted. And you'd be like all the other peddlers out there that are trying to push their wares. And you will become a commodity and your prospective clients will only be interested in price. And worse, you won't attract the number of clients you require to give you the revenue you want on a consistent basis. So make sure you address your clients' problems and the benefits you can bring in all of your marketing efforts whether that's on your website, emails, direct mail, telephone calls, articles, networking, everything when you are trying to attract new clients. So if you would like to learn more details about how to avoid this mistake and also avoid the other two biggest mistakes that business owners and salespeople make that keep sales stagnant and profits paralyzed, please go and check out this webinar training. It is full of easy to implement strategies that you can put into practice immediately. So just click the link below and start and get all of that valuable information to help you to grow your business. So until the next time, 
find a way and be the very best you can be. Bye for now.